And Bill Malusian has more from La Jolla, Texas. Bill. Yeah, Neil, good morning to you. The activity out here in La Jolla is really starting to ramp up again, very similar to what we were seeing over those peak summer months. And we want to show you some of what that looks like. Take a look at this video right here. We went out into the brush out here looking for runners. Didn't take long to find them. Look at this. Hard to see at first. There were two guys hiding in a bush right in front of us. At the time, there were no border agents around, just a National Guard helicopter hovering above looking for runners as well. But eventually, agents did get on scene. They handcuffed both of those men, and they took them into custody. There were other runners in that brush as well, but these are the people who obviously do not want to be caught and are constantly evading apprehension. Another day out here, yesterday morning, take a look at this video we shot with our Fox drone. Uh, we come out here earlier, we find a group of 200 migrants who had just, uh, just crossed illegally here into La Jolla. These are not runners though. These are those family units who just cross, walk down a road, and then are looking for Border Patrol to give themselves up. They do that because they know under the current administration's policies, they will likely just be released into the U.S. with a future court date. But we know it's not just here in the Rio Grande Valley where this border crisis is an issue. It is all over the Southwest. Take a look at these photos out of Laredo. This is where Border Patrol found 20 illegal immigrants trying to swim across the Rio Grande in an effort to get into the United States. You can see some of these guys have had uh, flotation devices, little floaty things they were using to try to come across. It was mostly single adult men, but Border Patrol on boats went up to them. They were able to, to deter them, turn them back around, and send them back into Mexico. They were not successfully able to cross. Take a look at these photos out of Border Patrol's Yuma sector. This is where there is commonly a huge problem with human smuggling. Border agents from their Tucson station and their Yuma sector stations uh, worked together to find two suspicious looking vehicles traveling on I-8. When they pulled those vehicles over, they found 17 illegal immigrants who were being smuggled in both of those vehicles. Again, human smuggling, a massive issue during this border crisis. People willing to pay a lot of money to get deeper into the United States after they've crossed illegally. Back out here live talking about the Rio Grande Valley where we are. Border Patrol here reported some concerning information last night. Just in a 14-hour span, just in this sector alone, they arrested four MS-13 gang members, again, just in a 14-hour span. We'll send it back to you, Neil. Wow. All right, Bill Malusian, thank you, my friend, very, very much.